Good morning. Yes. <laughs> it's morning time. Me and Wyatt are on our way out. Where are we going? You probably don't even remember. Smith's. Smith's. We're going to the grocery store. Where else? One more store. And store. <laughs> He doesn't remember because he wasn't listening. I was. I we were going to go to Joanne's and pick out some material for the curtains for the trailer. We're going to get some coffee and hot chocolate. Oh, Wyatt says we're going to get co coffee and hot chocolate. Mom, we'll, we'll see. His mom is begging for coffee again. Yeah, I could use one more cup of coffee. <laughs> It's called Dutch Brothers and actually it originated from my hometown. So they got really good coffee there. And very good hot chocolate. Yeah, Wyatt likes the hot chocolate, right? Because they're covered kind of with whipped cream. Yeah, they put a lot of whipped cream on there. They got really good smoothies there too that Wyatt likes, but I guess he wants hot chocolate today. We got our coffee, got me an iced uh, kicker. Wyatt got himself his nice hot chocolate with whipped cream. So now we can officially run over to Joanne's. We have arrived, huh, Wyatt? Yes. Yeah, we're all masked up and ready to go. There's Joanne's I right there. I can't breathe. I know he's complaining. He can't breathe. I'm not joking. I'm not joking. It's not even that tight. I can't breathe. Wyatt says he's never been in Joanne's. No, it's been like six years since I've been in here, so. It's just all material, see? Well, all material. It's a fabric store. They sell all kinds of pretty, pretty, pretty design. I did this. <laughs> this I did is like this. the stretchy material. It just. This will be good for the Let's do it. Totally brings back some memories. <laughs> like a dress my mom used to have. <laughs> American. Oh yes, there's the American flag stuff. Wow, yeah. Just stretchy material. Not good for curtains. It's a wall of fabric. Oh, I want black curtains, so I'm gonna go down there and check that out. So Wyatt found this one that was really nice. There's not enough. There's, there's not enough in there, which actually I do like it. <laughs> Cool. I'm thinking about this one. It's kind of cool. I also found this one right here. And this one. Sparkly. I found these ones. Well, you found all kinds of them. There's all kinds of different material. They are great. Ooh, it is soft. So show them what fabric we got. I picked it out. <laughs> I know. I I really like this one, and I'm. Absolutely hoping there is enough there to make all the curtains in the trailer because I just always go back to that one. So I'm gonna put some trim around it. So this is kind of like a darker gray. I found some lace. That's not lace. The hair. It's a cord. It's cord. <laughs> all kinds of cool stuff in the fabric store, huh, Wyatt? It's hair, mom. So see they got all this kind of lace. That's nice. This is like hair. I want to put it on the top of it or the bottom. Or the both, I don't know yet. So I have decided against the lace on the curtain. But I did find the clearance section over here. And they got a lot of fabric over here. So I'm no, going to check don't. out and see if maybe. No they don't. I can find something that I like. You think we've like lived in here forever while it's I'm tired. <laughs> I've changed my mind again. I think I'm gonna go with this. I'm just paranoid that that other one, and I really do like that other one, I'm just paranoid that there's not gonna be enough uh, material to finish the curtains in there, and then I'll be really upset. So now I'm just looking for some kind of backing to put on the back of this. So we have changed our minds yet again. Hope this last time. I'm just going with the solid black. 
and then, right there. Yep. So we're just waiting on our number and why it's got my lace. So I'm gonna put some lace on it. Yeah. Make it look pretty. You want it? Add a little color. I'm not paying for it. Got me some new sewing scissors and got my thread. Yeah, Disney Legos. Look at all these. Some coloring stuff. cried this entire way over here about how he didn't want to come over and walk around and wanted to play games. He was bored. And he comes over here and he's like, oh, I see Legos. I want to see them all. Yeah. <laughs> We're in the craft side now. Yeah, trolls coloring. Cool. You're not getting any Legos. We're just coming over here to look. It's your one craft. No, I said you can get a coloring book. That's it. That's all I said. No. Nope. Put it back. Pick it up and put it back. <laughs> like the word no is impossible. No. No. <laughs> well, I think that's all the coloring books they had, so... Right here, this is the aisle we were down. Free! Ne Never mind, we found the real hidden gem of the coloring book section. Yeah. Which one you want? Mm. You can get a different one. Onward? Yes. All right, we're back in the car. I don't know if you guys have ever been to Joann's, but it took a little bit longer than I expected it to with waiting in line for the fabric and then waiting in line to pay. It was just ridiculous. So we're back in it, heading over to the grocery store and then go home and we're done for the day. Woo, thank goodness. Hi everybody, big day today. I'm gonna start working on my curtains. So I dug out my sewing machine. Um, it's a Viking here. I don't, I don't really know a whole lot about sewing machines, but it's a really nice one actually. It's pretty dirty. It's been sitting in my, my garage for a while because when we moved from my old house to this house, I somehow lost the power cord in the move. So I ordered one on Amazon. Here, just a, a sewing machine cord. I Hopefully it works, so I'm gonna try that out before I start getting into the sewing. So I'm gonna go ahead and kind of wipe my sewing machine down and make it nice and clean it up a little bit and then I'll show you guys kind of what it looks like. Let's get started here. Okay, so I have revealed the sewing machine. <laughs> it's a nice one, it's it's a Viking here. It's got like different um, settings here for your, your sewing needle, you know, it'll do some embroidered, embroidery looks. <laughs> I, um, when I, Anthony was in Afghanistan, I made him like a really nice pillowcase and I put some little, little hearts on it for him and stuff, so. I mean, it's a good, it's a good little sewing machine. Uh, my, my dad and uh, his wife, Lynette, my stepmom, they bought me this for, I think it was my birthday one year. And I did make stuff. I made like curtains. I did make some, you know, uh, like blankets. I made some blankets for the kids and stuff. So I did use it, just not a whole, whole lot like I should, you know. I'm not really into sewing too much anymore. But hopefully maybe this will start something when I do these curtains. Yay! All right, let me get the foot pedal there. Plug that one in too. I got the foot pedal inside the case here. It's a good little sewing machine. It's all like, hey, you gotta put the pedal down. It works! All right. So I have all the window measurements here. I went out there this morning and measured um, how high the windows were. So I got all those down and then how wide, obviously. So I'm gonna take my curtains and I'm gonna make them two separate curtains.
curtains, so there's gonna be two per window. So like I'm gonna make, I think the first one I'm gonna make to start is the kitchen window. It's smaller and it gives me a little bit of practice. Um, it's 28 by 20. So I'll divide that in half, that's 14. Plus I'm, I think I'm gonna add 10 extra inches on each side, that way it kind of gives a little ruffle and it looks nice. Plus I got seven yards of material here, so I think that's more than enough to cover all the windows. So, um, you know, maybe if I don't like it with the 10 extra inches, you know, I'll cut it down if I need to, if I feel that's too much. This is just my first trial and error window, so that's why I chose the kitchen one, because it's smaller, so. So this is going to be the top up here where the crease is at. I'm going to leave a little bit of overhang on the top. Probably not too much because I got this lace. I don't know if I should put this lace on. I was going to put it on on top. And then when it's all like bunched up like this. Or I might put it on the bottom to cover up some of this ruffleness. Like this. So I'm going to go ahead and follow the half inch mark all the way down in a straight line. So I don't know what happened to my bobbin, but it got all messed up. So I'm going to redo a new bobbin with my black thread here. It's really easy. I mean, flip it up, it's fun. Now that I got my bobbin good again, hopefully, I don't know what happened. It just got all like, I don't know, maybe I threaded it wrong, but I mean, it was old bobbin, so it could have been in there for a while and I did it wrong a while back. <laughs> okay, so I went ahead and I've stitched all along the edges on the outside. I'm gonna go ahead and flip it right side out so all this like raw edging is hidden in the inside. So I have a little, space here for the um, rod, the curtain rod, so I'm just going to go ahead and <laughs> just basically push all that material out through that tiny hole. I mean, I might, it takes a little bit of <laughs> effort to squeeze it through there, but I think you can get it in. See? Looks, looks good. You can't see that raw edging. It's like double layered, so it's pretty you can't really see through it. So I'm gonna go ahead and I got this little opening on the side. I'm gonna just sew a straight line all the way across and then leave a little space here for the um, rod. Sew that line across, straight across here so it kind of gives it a little overhang on top of the window. And then I still have my opening here for the rod. So I'm gonna take the bottom of my curtain and I got this fancy lace here that I'm gonna put on there. And I'm gonna just do it like half and half. Try to keep it as straight as I can as I go, just kinda hold it so I... Just plain old black curtains with a little lace on the bottom. Just a little touch there. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut it and then sew it on there and then it'll be done. So here it is. I mean, they're just plain old black curtains with some lace on the bottom. I got two of them here. I did I did both. As you can see, it's just on you know, one side it's gonna look from the back, but I don't care. You can see it from the outside, but that's okay. But it looks nice. I can't wait to put them in just to see what it looks like. I have to wait till Anthony gets home though so he can hang up my curtain rod for me so I can test it out. 
I'm gonna iron these two and make them so they're not so wrinkly so they look nice. Let's go ahead and plug in my iron, iron these, and then when Anthony gets home, I'll say, please put my curtain racks up so I can see what it looks like. 